Alrighty guys, welcome back to some more Black Ops Zombies, where today I am playing 5 and doing the Shotguns Only Challenge. Now what this challenge is, is I am only allowed to use shotgun based weapons. Um, you know, weapons that shoot shotgun trails. We got the Olympia, which is right here. We got the Stakeout, which is in like the main training area. If you want to call that, that's where the stakeout's at. Now, the box. I believe the box has the HS-10. The... Where the guns are in there? I know there's got to be more guns, but I just cannot think of it right now. But yeah, I'm allowed to use just shotgun-based weapons. So, what I'm probably going to do is I'm probably going to get the stakeout. Once I get to the main training area, I'll buy that. And then... I will probably try and hit the box, maybe. Yeah, the stakeout could last me a good while, and then I'll just hit the box. And try and get an even better shotgun. Pack a bunch of weapons. Well, pack a bunch only shotgun weapons. And try and make it to round 30. So that is the challenge. And yeah, let's get on with this. So yeah, it's been a little bit since I've last done a challenge. I believe my last challenge was the Doris two box only challenge, I believe. And that was on Black Ops as well. So yeah, I decided to play Black Ops again. And this time, decided to do a little five. I mean, this map is kind of interesting. I mean, this is probably one of the hardest Black Ops, or one of the hardest zombie maps, rather. And... Yeah, I decided to do shotguns only on it. I did do a challenge on this map before, which was my very first um, five challenge, which was the Pentagon Thief challenge, which was pretty fun. You can get, you guys can go check. Oh no, oh no, I'm stuck. Oh jeez, nearly went down already. But yeah, you guys can go check that out on the channel. The, basically, that challenge was I had to let the Pentagon Thief steal my weapon, and I could not get back. And then I had to basically hit the box again to get a different weapon. So that was a pretty fun challenge I did. That was actually my very first Black Ops. Oh no, my very first five challenge. So that was really fun. I believe this is my second challenge on this map. So yeah, I don't play this map a lot since... I don't know. This is a pretty fun map, but it's a pretty difficult map as well. I used to hate this map, but after doing the Pentagon Thief challenge... I came to like this map. I don't love it yet. I don't love it, but I do like it. It's an interesting map. I'll give it that. And shotguns only on this map could be kind of interesting. Could be kind of interesting as indeed. Now, I believe the gun, the stakeout, is 1500, I would say. So let's just throw a couple grenades. Hopefully, got no drops up there. Guess I shouldn't have made those budget cuts. But, oh, we gotta open up another door to get to it, though. Crap. I should have bought the Olympia. I should have just bought the Olympia and be done with it. I forgot that you had to open up another door to get to it. I could go up there quickly, but I gotta pay 250 to get up there again. You know what? Yeah. Let me go do that. I got no ammo, and I don't feel, I don't feel safe knifing them. So, yeah, we had to waste basically 500 points there, which does suck, but oh well. Let's just go ahead and grab the Olympia right here for 500. Nice. I don't know. I may pack a punch this as well. Get some little dragon's breath on it. Get a little fire action going. That seems pretty awesome. I don't know. I don't know how I'm feeling right now. All oh, the glass broke, though. That's not good. Okay, now since I bought my first shotgun, I'm not allowed to use my pistol anymore. I forgot to explain this, but for all my challenges, I am allowed to use my pistol at the beginning until I get the specific weapon that I need. Like if it's wall weapons only, I'm allowed to use my pistol until I buy my wall weapon, my first wall weapon. Shotguns only, I'm allowed to use my pistol until I get my first shotguns. And just stuff like that, I so... Now that I bought my first shotgun, I'm not allowed to use my pistol ever again. Pistol is not allowed to use, even if I get max ammo. I'm not allowed to use it. 
Okay, so now that we got the Olympia, I think I'm just going to stay up here for one more round and then just go downstairs. Go downstairs and try and get the stakeout. Open the door and get the stakeout. I think that's the best course of action right now. But yeah, how, how are you guys doing? Let me know how you guys are doing. You guys enjoying your week so far? The first week of February? Can't believe it's already February. First month of 2015 sure did go by fast. And Walking Dead comes on this weekend, so I'm excited for that. This challenge will be going up this weekend as well, so hopefully you guys are excited for that. Got this challenge as well as the Walking Dead to look forward to, if you guys are fans of Walking Dead. I, of course, am. And there's also... Oh, crap. Go ahead, go before that zombie sneaks on the elevator with me. But the premiere of Better Call Saul also premieres. So I'm looking forward to that Sat Sunday, I mean. Sunday is premiering after The Walking Dead. Oh, jeez. Okay, I just got double hit and survived. That dude came in fast. Like, I was not even expecting that guy. But yeah, I'm excited for Better Call Saul premiering. Got that to look forward to as well. I was... An extreme fan of Be of Breaking Bad, so I'm excited to see. And Saul Goodman was one of my favorite characters in Breaking Bad, so I'm excited to see that he's got his own show. And from what I see, it's going to do pretty good. I mean, the trailers look freaking amazing and all that good stuff. It's already got is already renewed for a second season. So I mean, come on. If you're already renewed for a second season before the first episode even comes on, then you know it's going to do pretty good. So yeah, I'm excited to see that. So yeah, we got that to look forward to. Um, what else? In about four or five months, we'll get the first little trailer. About around May or June, we'll get the first trailer for the new trail card coming out so cannot wait for that cannot wait to see these zombies in that I have a feeling that in May we will not see the actual zombies trailer they'll wait to like August or September to premiere the zombies but I cannot wait for that and exo zombies is coming on the PC obviously in February I don't think they got like an actual date yet could be wrong, but I don't think they do. So I cannot wait to have some EXO Zombies for you guys on my channel. Do some challenges on that. Okay, now Death Machine. Let's talk about that now that I got this. I'm allowed to pick up Death Machines. Okay, Death Machines are not an actual weapon. It's more of a power-up that the zombies drop. So, yeah, I'm allowed to use the Death Machine. I'm allowed to use that as much as I want, so I'm definitely going to be using that to my advantage. So, yeah, um, down there's the power, obviously, so I will, I'm going to wait to go down there. Because I believe once you turn on the power, the Pentagon Thief will come. So I want to wait before opening that up and turn on the power. I will get Jug before he comes. Definitely won't give a jug. Even though he doesn't, like, do any physical damage to you. I don't know. I still will have jug before he comes in. Having jug before he comes in is a good start, in my opinion. So I'm just going to stay here. Now, sadly, with shotguns, you cannot build up that much points. So I won't be able to build up that much points using shotguns. But oh well. Okay. I need to go ahead and open up this. Come on, reload. I don't want to buy this just yet. Because once I go down there, of course, the creepy crawlers will spawn. They only spawn down there. So, as long as you're upstairs, they will not spawn. But as soon as you go downstairs in the underground bit, they will start spawning. So, I do need to watch out for that. And there is a window behind me, but they're not spawning there yet. Come on, reload. Okay. Oh, no. Okay, that was kind of close. Okay, I think I'm going to go ahead and pick this up. And quickly go down here now. I kind of wanted to keep one. But oh well. It is what it is, I guess. Okay, yeah, I forgot you had to turn around. 
Okay, so let's just turn on the power and quickly get the heck out of here. And I'll have just enough to buy a uh, jug as well. I don't think I'll be buying ammo just yet. Even though I'm kind of running low, I think I'm going to hold on on the ammo. It's this way, right? Yeah, it is. Okay, good. I always get turned around. Yep, now we got the freaking creepy crawlers. Okay, so go ahead and buy some jug now. Nice, so off to a good start. Got both quick revive and jug. Got two shotguns. Like I said, I will be hitting the box later on to get rid of the Olympia. But for now, I think I'm going to keep it. Even though I'm not going to be using it that much. I will be using it whenever the Pentagon Thief comes. If he steals my weapon, I will be giving him the Olympia instead of my stakeout. The stakeout is going to be used to kill him. Okay, so I do need to buy some ammo in a second. I'm surprised that nuke didn't finish the round for me. Sadly, with shotguns, you don't get that much points, though. So I do got to watch my ammo pretty thoroughly. Now, I need to buy ammo regardless if it's the Pentagon Thief or not. Is it? No, it's not. Okay, good. No Pentagon Thief just yet. So that is good. The Olympia is probably like a three shot now. I definitely need to get my hands on some Speedy Cola. Speedy Cola would definitely help for the shotguns. Oh crap, how much is this? 12.50, I don't got enough. Okay, go ahead and kill off a couple of them. Okay, I got enough now. So let's just go ahead and open up now. Go ahead and start getting the entire downstairs opened up. I think that'll work out so good. I hear the zombie still coming after me? Seriously? Okay. Come on, reload faster. See, this is why I need speed cola in my life. That is definitely why I need speed cola in my life. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. We made it out of there, luckily. Now, I am allowed to buy Mule Kick, obviously, if I do want to get a third shotgun. I am allowed to get Mule Kick. I don't know if I'm going to do that, though. I'm not exactly sure what my plans are right now. I don't really have a strategy, to be perfectly honest. Usually, I come in challenges with a strategy in mind. But I think sometimes it's fun not to have a strategy. To just go in there blind and just hope for the best, basically. Which is what I'm doing this time. Sometimes I like think about strategy ahead of times, other times I don't. Okay, the entire underground bit is opened, and it's still not the Pentagon Thief. So that is good. Don't got to worry about him just yet. I do want to try and see if I can get 5,000 to get the stakeout pack punch as soon as possible. Stakeout would definitely help against the zombies and the Pentagon Thief. Because if I can let him not steal my gun, I can get bonfire cell from him. And I'll make pack-a-punch in 1,000. Which will help out so much whenever I feel like pack-a-punching. After he comes. So I definitely will try and keep him away from my guns. The first couple of times he may steal my gun. But after like round 20, I think I'll have him pretty much under control. I don't really know how good shotguns are against him, though. So, yeah, what do you guys think of that dice presentation that Treyarch did uh, a couple days ago? If, were you guys watching it? I sure was. And it was interesting. I knew that they would not reveal anything about the zombies. I knew they would be just about basically the history of zombies. Which I enjoyed listening about. I mean... I mean, it's, it's funny to think that zombies was almost never here. Like, we almost never had a zombies game mode. Activision could have just turned them down whenever Treyarch came out and asked Activision about this game mode. They could have just turned them down and say, no, let's just stick to multiplayer. Let's not do anything like that. And we'll never get a zombies game mode. We'll never get regular zombies on Treyarch zombies. And we'll never get exo zombies. So basically, Activision 
or and or and us as well made zombies what it is today. So I thought that was really cool. The zombies almost never happened. So it is awesome to think that the players of the game can impact the game drastically. It's awesome to think about that. So yeah, I thought that was really interesting. And of course, they basically confirmed their dead zombies will be returning in 2015. I mean, come on now, guys. We all knew that was going to happen, but so many people were like, no, zombies is not going to happen. The storyline's dead. The characters died. And Origins was the final map. And all this stuff. I knew. I knew the zombies would be returning. Because. And yep. He took my Olympia. That kind of sucks. Oh nice. I wanted to be up here. So I can quickly grab some speed cola. Which is over this way. But yeah. Back to what I was saying is I knew zombies would be returning in 2015 because, I mean, Activision is money whores. They would do whatever it takes to get money to get people to buy their game. And what do the fans want? They want zombies. They want, whether it be trail zombies or exo zombies, they want one of them. So, they're going to do whatever it takes to make zombies happen. Which is, of course coming out with more and more games that have zombies in it. I mean, why do you think Sledgehammer is making zombies? Because I bet Activism forced them to make a zombies game mode just so they could sell more and more copies. Because I myself hate multiplayer. I hate card multiplayer with a passion. So, but I love zombies with a passion as well. And the only reason why I buy Trail or buy Call of, Call of Duty is because of the zombies game mode. Or the the third game mode. Whether it be survival or whether it be zombies. And most of the time, their game mode suck. But zombies is always there. Zombies is always fun. And zombies is always awesome. So whenever they come out of the zombies game mode, you know it's going to be awesome. And you know it's going to sell like... Like hotcakes, basically. It's going to sell, and they're going to make a lot of money from it. So, that's why I think Sledgehammer made Exo Zombies. Because Activism probably forced them into doing it, and talked Treyarch into them them do it as well. I mean, because Activision owns zombies, okay? Treyarch, is, Treyarch does not own zombies. Activision... Own zombies, so they can have zombies in every single trail game if they, or every single card game if they want to. So I mean, it would surprise me if the next Infinity Ward game has zombies in it. It would not surprise me at all, because then we'd get every year with zombies, and every year, Activision. And the other companies, Infinity Wars, that have uh, Treyarch, they will make tons of money from it because the game has zombies in it. They heard the word zombies, so they'll buy it. So I have a feeling that pretty soon every card game from here on out will have zombies in it. Exo Zombies will be um, Sledgehammer's take on it. Regular Zombies, like we got now. That would be Treyarch's take on it. And if Infinity Ward, whatever they feel like doing, whatever they feel like, like, making it futuristic, or whatever they feel like making it, as long as it's zombies, it will sell as well. If they have a different take on zombies, it will probably still sell as well. And that's another thing I don't get. This brings me over to my next point. Is so many people wanted Sledgehammer to come out with zombies. Whenever Sledgehammer mentioned about this um, one round, oh I got enough to pack a punch, nice. Whenever Treyarch, or whenever Infinity Ward mentioned about this one round game mode, or one round, how do they phrase it? Like one round of zombies in EXO Survival, everybody was crazy about it. They were like, yes, yeah, zombies will be returning in EXO, or in 
um, Advanced Warfare. And then once they figured out what it was, there was like, oh, I can't believe this. This is not the zombies we wanted. And so that's time I saw that. They decided, okay, well, the fans obviously didn't want this. They obviously want only one kind of zombies, and that's Treyarch Zombies. So let's do Treyarch Zombies, but with a twist. With our own twist, and have them have EXO abilities. And everybody saw the trailers, and they was excited for it again. They're like, yes, this is what we've been asking for, this is what we want. And... Then, once they found out, once they got the game mode in their hands, and it came out for Xbox, everybody hated it. Well, not everybody, but most people were like, no, this is not what we wanted. We wanted something different. 